What's up everybody? This is Josh, Rockstar Vapes. Today we're going to talk about how I like to re-wick my RDA when I'm using dual coil setup. So let's get down to it. So I have this cotton and my dripper right now. It's the Spirit RDA. And I put some juice in it earlier that was awful. It's brand new cotton. I just did it about three hours ago. So the cotton's still fine. Uh, it's not getting burnt up or anything. It just is holding that flavor that I don't like. So I'm going to show you how I like to re-wick. Do a little tutorial on my first one. Yay. All right. Let's do a little uppy closey time. Okay. So to do this, you're going to need the RDA. You're going to be re-wicking. Uh, cotton. I have organic cotton balls right here. I like to use these tweezers. They have a cool little bend to them. Nice little point. That's what I'll be doing all the poking and prodding with. And handy dandy scissors. So let's get down to it. I'm going to get my drip tip out of the way. Take the top cap off this guy. Let me go ahead and do a disclaimer. I haven't started doing any build tutorials yet because I don't have my own meter. I'm waiting on it in the mail. So I advise against the sub-ohm builds like this. Unless you know what you're doing, you have an ohms checker, you know the limits of your battery. So don't copy my build unless you know what you're doing. It's just a 28 gauge Canthal dual parallel. Um, pretty good build. I just don't like this flavor that is soaked into this cotton, and I'm mad because I got a pretty good wick on there. You kind of see how I like to do it. But let's go ahead and rip this out of there and get down to the main feature. So once you've got this in there, the way I like to unwick it, because you'll see there's a good bit of cotton up under those coils to form like a cotton cloud, I like to go ahead and snip this little horseshoe of wick I've got running over my top post there and just pull out the opposite side of the coil and you'll get the first piece of grossness out and the second piece of grossness out I have some cotton lingering gotta pick all that out of there all right Pretty good. I just take a little piece of paper towel and get some of that excess juice out of the way down in your well. I'm gonna give it a dry burn. Make sure everything's still glowing nice and evenly from the inside out. exactly what I want to see. Coil still doing awesome. Let that cool off a little bit. Don't want to burn yourself. Then lock your mod. Set that down for a moment. Grow stuff out of the way there. I like to unroll the cotton. Now also let me give props to Leo Lee, that is who I learned this method from. I will be posting a link to his video in the description of my video. Because I have modified it just a tiny bit, I guess. Uh, Alright, so you unroll your cotton, like so. Getting the perfect piece off in the first try is hard to do. And it's going to depend on the size of your coils. Mine are a, a nice micro size, micro coil size. I take off a piece uh, about that big because I'm going to tease it out a little bit. I'm going to roll it up, and I can tell you right now I've got too much cotton. So we're just going to trim that down like so. Make sure it's the right thickness for my coils. Looking still a little too big. Sorry guys. Like I said this is not really a science to this part of it. Roll that up. 
Just kind of tease it out. Keep it fluffy. Don't roll it too tight. You don't want that. It'll strangle the flow of your juice. You'll get those dry hits too quick, even when there's juice on the cotton, because it can't flow into where it needs to be, which is right there up on your coil. So we've got our piece of cotton rolled up. Now, with your dual coil, I'm going to go in one side, like so. Pull it through, and I kind of roll it as I go. Rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. And I kind of tease it back and forth to make sure it's not too tight, but tight in that coil where it's, it's firm. Like so. Alright. Then we're going to roll up and over the center post. It's going to form kind of like a horseshoe or a U over the center post. Then I go to the inside of the opposite coil and come through like that. I'm going to twist it. Twist it. And be gentle when you get to this part because you want it to sit just right over that center post. And I'll explain one of the reasons I like to do this at the end. We're just going to go ahead and start getting that extra. See, that is what you want to start with. Right there. Like so. Okay? Then, it'll start tucking this cotton up underneath here. Now, I do three passes. And I keep them small, though. Tuck up under once. And I go twice and a third tuck of cotton and you keep them pretty short because you don't want too much cotton everybody says less is more with this stuff and I tend to agree because too much cotton and it's going to hold a bunch of juice it's never going to make it to your core all right so that's one side not quite all the way done yet but you get the idea of how I like to do it. We're going to repeat the process with the other side. Tuck once, twice, third time is the charm. Get it all down inside the well there. Give it a little snip over here, like so and we're looking pretty good now you want it to be snug up under the coil so you have plenty of cotton cloud up under there but you don't want it to be blocking the coil like this area right here you don't want it to be up way up here you want it to be up under it like right at the bottom edge there like so and that's about it guys you juice it up the first time you juice, I'm going to be using this Colossus by Cyclops Vapor. Really good stuff. It's a vanilla custard. I've got a review coming on this tonight. It's going to eat up quite a bit of juice at first because that cotton is very absorbent, holds a lot of juice. And we do have that nice little cotton cloud under each coil. But I found that, like this, even with the dual parallel, I can get quite a few good rips off of it before I need to re wick. I mean, Redrip. Um, does it possibly impede a little bit of airflow up there at the top? Yeah. So maybe it's not the cloud chasing setup, but it's got to be something right if Mr. Leo Lee himself does it like this. I don't know if this is the way he wicks for like competition size clouds, but this is what I learned from his videos. So we're looking pretty good. Got it all juiced up there. Gonna rock it a couple times. Kind of get those coils start caramelizing again. And she's checking that vapor, isn't she? Woo! I'm gonna juice her one more time. And we'll go back up to the normal camera view and see how she vapes, guys. So, 
that you have the way I like to wick. Uh, I don't really know what you call it. An S wick, U S U wick, I don't know. Um, and I mentioned, I would say, one reason why I like to wick like that. Well, that piece of cotton that goes over your center post is perfect to drip without taking your top cap off because you can just center up and drip and it will get both sides nice and wet and you don't have to worry about like tilting it and getting one side tilting it and getting the other side you just drip right for the center and that little piece will catch it and disperse it properly and as your coils heat it will pull the juice down and flow to where it needs to be it will come to the heat um, so let's take a couple little toots on her and i'll send you guys on your way Not too bad, not too bad, I love it. Uh, that is my go-to way to wick for dual coil. Um, it's what works for me. Hopefully it helps some of you guys. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. Maybe you could share the way you like to wick. Uh, post in the comments below. Hit me up at rockstarvapes at gmail.com. I have a giveaway coming up soon. I'm gonna be giving away this bottle of blue Pop Shock by G2 Vapor. So stick around to see how you can win this guy. It's a 6 milligram. What is that, 15 mils? 20 mils? I don't know. Heck, it's free, even if it's 10. Um, so, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subs subscribe, share, uh, give me some feedback. And remember, Take like a rock star. Take it easy.